In this video, we're gonna be looking at how you can use Stream Deck with the Shortcuts app on Mac OS. And this is the fifth in a series of videos I'm doing all about the Shortcuts app. And so if you haven't seen it, the other videos I've done about it, you may want to check those out there all down in the description. In this video though, we're gonna take a slight break from the app itself. And as I say, we're gonna look at how you can trigger these uh, shortcuts with the uh, Stream Deck instead. Now, Apple themselves don't have a built-in uh, plugin for Stream Deck. However, there is a third party app that works uh, perfectly well and you can uh, use that one instead. So let's come over to uh, Stream Deck and have a look at how to get that, shall we? Uh, it is the usual process for installing plugins, which is that we go up to the Stream Deck store right up at the top here. Uh, click on that and that will open up the store in a separate window, just like that. And then what we wanna do is come over to the uh, plugins section uh, and then just do a little search for uh, shortcuts. Uh, spelling it correctly, of course. <laughs> and there you go, we've got uh, two that have come up. Actually, Lumia is related to lighting, but it's this one that we want, the one with the shortcuts uh, icon on, funnily enough. And so here it is, by Sentinelite. I think that is how you pronounce it, <laughs> without the long pause in the middle. Uh, so you basically, you just install it from here. Uh, and then obviously, as you will know, I'm sure with Stream Deck, it just comes into the right-hand column down here. And so we just have to find that. And there it is, the shortcuts folder. And there is just one single action in there. So I'm just going to drag this on to uh, show you this demonstration. Uh, now, bear in mind that uh, you may get prompted when you install the uh, shortcut, or sorry, the plugin, I should say. Uh, you may get uh, prompted to go and check your security and uh, privacy section on your Mac. So uh, that would be over here in System Preferences. And then from within here, it's going to ask you to go down to the Automation section, which is right down at the bottom. Uh, and then you want to just check that under Stream Deck, you have got access uh, granted to... Uh, the shortcuts app. When, when you install the plugin, this will be put in there by default. It just may not actually be checked. And so you might have to go and unlock your system preferences uh, and then just go and make sure that you have checked that so that it's given permission for the Stream Deck and uh, this plugin to control your shortcuts, which obviously is the point of what we're trying to do here. Now, the way that you uh, program this is very simple. <laughs> you've basically got the usual thing of a title uh, and then you've got the next two... Uh, rows are basically where you're going to choose uh, the shortcut that you want. If you are very organized and you've got all of your shortcuts nicely organized into folders, you can specify a specific folder from this uh, drop down. Um, or if you want to just leave it the default, which is all shortcuts, uh, then you will just be able to pick from the full list. And so that is done in the next row down. Uh, so you can see there it says shortcut and then you just click on the little drop down and you can pick whichever shortcut you want from uh, your full list. Now I'm just going to choose this one for now. This is the uh, uh, shortcut that we made in one of the previous videos. So I'm just going to use that one as an example. By the way, there is a search box if you want to search for a particular shortcut as well. You can use that way. Uh, now we come down, there's a couple of other options that you may or may not want to use. Uh, first is an accessibility feature. So with this one, it will actually speak the name of the shortcut uh, when you're pressing the button. Uh, and then the next one is override title toggle uh, on or off. Uh, now what that is, is that's basically going to uh, give it the um, uh, toggle on or off the name of the shortcut over the top of the uh, the title that you've given it up here. So that's what that is for. It's to actually override the, uh, the shortcut name with uh, whatever you might want to call it in here. And that is what will appear on the front. I'm just going to leave this as it is because in actual fact, usually with uh, anything I use on Stream Deck, I don't tend to use the built-in text. So I would normally toggle that one off there uh, and then just have my own uh, custom icons so that I can see uh, what the uh, particular action is for. So uh, that is all there is to that. However, there is a couple more things that I've just mentioned down here. If you scroll even further down uh, to the bottom, uh, there is a uh, Discord community uh, for this particular developer. And so it's a great place to uh, go and join if you have got any questions about the plugin or anything like that, or if you have any troubleshooting issues that you need uh, resolved, uh, then uh, definitely jump on in there. They seem to be quite active and uh, responsive as well. So uh, that's a great thing to see, actually, that uh, a plugin developer has got a Discord community as well around it. Uh, next, down below, we've also got the source code, which is available on uh, through GitHub as well. So uh, another nice little uh, thing to see. But for all intents and purposes, that is essentially all we need to do. <laughs> so if I just actually click on this button now, it is going to trigger that shortcut. And this was the shortcut. It was just a silly little thing, really. Uh, enter your name, enter your location. 
as I say, this was just the example that I created in one of the other videos uh, to prove a point about variables <laughs> for those that are interested. And then click done. And then it says, there you go. Hey, hi, Alec, what is the weather like in Thailand? So, uh, but that is just to prove the point that it is actually triggered by the, um, uh, the shortcut button and action on the uh, Stream Deck itself. Now, uh, that was, as I say, a bit of a departure from the uh, shortcuts app itself. Um, but don't worry, we'll be getting straight back into that in the next video where I'll be talking all about how you can use uh, shortcuts with the Notes app for greater productivity. See you there.